how much does Power BI cost and what do you need to share reports, view reports? Well, I'll explain it just in a couple of minutes. Let's go. When you want to build a Power BI report, currently you build that in Power BI Desktop and that is totally free. You can download it from here. I'll put the link in the show notes. It's free, you don't have to sign in, just play about, you can build an entire Power BI report. It's when you want to publish and share that report that you have to start paying some money to Microsoft. Um, let me show you here. If I, this is my Power BI desktop report, I have to publish this, you know, I've built it in here. I click publish and then it comes up with different workspaces when I can click on here. And it's from the online version that I want to share the report. And that's where the licensing really sort of kicks in. So if I open this up, okay, I go into my Power BI report and I then want to share this report. As soon as I click on share, if I don't have a license, a pro license, and I'll talk about the licenses in one second, I won't be able to share this report with anybody. And also the end user who gets the report, even if I have a license, they won't be able to look at it unless they have a license. So let's look at the licenses very quickly. Here they are. This is the main one, okay? The 9.99 US dollars pro license. So for me to share a report or for the end user to look at the report, we both have to pay 9.99, whether that's shared via Teams or embedded in a SharePoint site or whatever, okay? Going back to this, there is one exception here. You can potentially go to file, embed report, publish to web. Okay, this is public, okay? Admins tend to turn this off for certain users because you can actually embed this or get a URL and share it to anybody for totally free, but it's only to be used for sort of publicly available data. Don't use it for company data, okay? But end users can just interact with the report for free, which is great if you're sharing, I don't know, any stats about something that you want the whole world to see. Totally free. Okay, let's go mention one thing. An end user needs to have a free license in order to even log in to Power BI. And when you do, you get your own free workspace as well. So when you're logging into powerbi.com, you may have to set a user up. So for example, here, I've got a, a user, they need to have this little checkbox ticked. See, so they can log into Power BI in the first place. They get a free My Workspace and they can start playing around with Power BI, but they can't share reports and they can't view reports. They need a license. Okay, so that's the 999 Pro. Now, if you had a thousand staff all paying 10 bucks a month, that's $10,000, that's a lot for people looking. So there's this option of premium per capacity, which starts at 5,000 per month and goes up the more capacity you need. The end users do not need a pro license if the report is shared with them from a workspace that is marked as premium. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go into my powerbi.com and I'll go into my workspace here and into settings for my workspace. So my reports are living in here. I'm sharing my reports from here. By default, the workspace is a pro workspace. It means the other users must have pro to view the reports. If, however, I am my company is paying for premium per capacity, I can toggle this on or might have to request IT to set it up for me and then when I share reports from here, the end users don't need a license. They just need the free. They don't need the pro. Okay, so you're not paying per person, per viewer. You still need a pro license to share the report. Okay, you need a pro license to publish here. You need a pro license to create a workspace in the first place. But the end users don't need a license. So there's about a 500 person cutoff, yeah, between paying... 10 bucks for 500 people and $5,000. And then after that, it gets incrementally cheaper if you're paying per capacity. 
And then just to throw a new one in the mix, a relatively new one, premium per user has some of the bonus features of premium per capacity. So not only does premium per capacity give you the right to share to free users, it gives you bigger data sets, paginated reports, a whole bunch of other goodies, okay? I'll send a little link in here and you can find out some more about it. Um, so premium per user is a bit of a niche case. Um, pro users can share reports to premium per user, PPUs they're called, but premium per users can't share reports to, to pro users. They have to share to other premium per user users. Okay, wait, wait, I was just editing this video and I wanna make this sort of clear that premium per users can technically share with pro users, but only if they've created a pro workspace. So premium per user license holders can create pro workspaces without bonus features and share to other pro users, okay? But as soon as a workspace is marked as a premium per user workspace by somebody with a PPU license, only other PPU uh, license holders can view the content that's been shared with them from that workspace. I hope that makes sense. Okay, back to the main video. So it's 20 bucks for the report developer and 20 bucks per month for the report consumer in that case. It comes with bonus features. But you can't share free, you can't share even to pro. If, and again I, I come back to this, if this workspace is marked as a premium per user workspace. So licensing is really all about the workspaces. You make it a pro workspace or a premium per user workspace or a premium per capacity workspace and then those rules apply to the content shared from there. In comparison, you know, for the $9.99 for the license. I just went onto Tableau's website. I have no idea if I'm sort of, um, I know nothing about Tableau, so I may be doing them a disservice here, but it's like 70 bucks per month for the creator, whereas Power BI is $9.99, and it's 15 bucks per month for the viewer, Power BI is $9.99. Um, please leave some comments in the, in the notes. Um, and I'll flag those in the description if somebody knows that I'm talking nonsense here, but it seems that's the comparison. Okay, so that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you find that useful. Um, let me know in the comments below. I love getting your feedback. I will catch you in the next video.